In this video, I will be showing you how to create this 3D map animation in DaVinci Resolve. And this might be something you might have seen in videos from Johnny Harris who have these amazing map animations. So I will be showing you how to do, how to achieve something similar in DaVinci Resolve. So right now I have this fusion composition and let me just add in another one. So head over to your fusion composition and add a background. Connect the background with the media out and over here, we'll just keep this as is. And now you need a map. So the map that I'm using over here has some lines over it. So here you can see there are already some lines on this map and you can choose any map that you want, but this is the map that has some lines, some pathways. So these are some lines that I'm going to be using for the map animation, but you can use a straight line. You can use a curved line for this. That's up to you. You can use this technique for any map that you have. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and add a transform node so that we can resize this. Make sure that this is taking the whole screen. 1.7. Okay. And now let's go ahead and start creating the line, the pathway that we want to animate. So I'm just going to drag in this background and I'm going to go with a color that resembles the color scheme over here, but I'm going to change that to all the way to a light color. And let's hit OK. Now let's drag in this polygon tool and just I'm going to remove this polyline over here so that we don't get any keyframes and let's connect it with the background. So right now I'm just going to create a pathway very quickly but you can go ahead and do that for your map as well. This will be just a simple line. You can use any map, but all you need is this polygon tool in order to create that line. So let me just quickly show you how to do that. All right, so here I have created the line for our map and I'm just following the path that we already have available on the map, but you can go ahead and do it any way possible because the real thing is the animation that I'm going to show you and the 3D effect that will follow along. So I'm just going to connect this background with the merge and for the poly polygon, let's just change the border width to 0 0.01 and see how this looks. So now this is covering the whole pathway, but I'm just going to change this border style to flat and now we can start our animation. So over here at, let's say at 30, let's go ahead and create a keyframe over here at length and then at zero, let's change this to zero. And if you play this, here you will see we are getting that animation, but let's go over to spline and change this. So let's select our keyframes, hit S, and I'm just going to select this last keyframe and slightly curve this. So if you if you play this now, here you will see we're getting a very nice animation. Okay, and let's go over at 70. This is where I will start ending the animation. So create a keyframe at position and over at 100, I'm going to change this to one and I'll go over to the spline again. And over here, I'm going to unselect this length, make sure that we only have this position available and select this and press S on the keyboard. And I'm going to make this slight curve as well. So let's see how this looks now. So here we have the animation and here it is ending. So this looks nice. And now let's go over to the merge two, which is basically connected or our polyline is basically connected to the merge two. And this is where I will change the blend mode a little bit. So I would go over to let's say 0 0.7, somewhere around there. And I will also add a soft glow. So make sure you have your background selected, press control space and search for soft glow. And over here, let's change the settings. So I'm going to reduce the gain a bit. 
like this somewhere around 0 0.7 looks okay and now let's also create a circle over here a circle for this so let's just add this ellipse connect it with the polygon and over here you will see we're getting a huge ellipse but uh, go over to uh, this ellipse panel over here and then uncheck solid now create the border width at 0 0.05 and now let's also right click this width, select expression and then connect it with the height. And now reduce this and move this over to this side. Let's decrease this further at 0 0.05, looks uh, okay. And now over here, you will see that we're getting that circle as well, but let me just increase the border width. So let's change this to 0.08 let's also decrease this a little bit so that here we can match it with the line that we have okay so once we have this over here let's just see where our animation is ending over here so this is where our animation is ending and this is where we can start this circle animation so select your ellipse and then go over to length create a keyframe and then over let's say at 50 create another keyframe and the keyframe at 30 let's change the length and also change the gap style to flat and if you play this now here you will see this is how it appears we can also end this at 100 create a keyframe at length and then add 110 let's move this back so this is how this will look now and you can always go over to spline and hit S on the keyboard so that this E is in. Now let's see how this whole animation looks. Okay, so this looks interesting. And now what we can do is add a text over here. So I'll just simply add this text connected with merge to location and and let's see where our circle is so over here let's position this right here and here we can start the location animation as well so at 50 let's create a keyframe at right on and then change this to zero and then at 60 let's move this in and see how this looks right and now at 110 we can once again create a keyframe and then at the end we can move this out so if you play this now this is looking interesting and we have the basic animation done but now we need to add that 3d effect that we see in many videos and how to achieve that this is very simple all you need to do is first of all make sure that you have your last node so here we will add in this image planer or the image plane and what you need to do is make sure that this is connected the merge is connected to the image plane and then image plane is connected to the media out when in, in order for it to connect to the media out it also needs a render so a render 3d node is what it needs and now if you connect this to the media out this is now how it will look but you will see that this is now getting uh, away from our frame in order to resize this back you all you need to do is go over to the image plane node over here at transform just change the z-axis all the way to let's say 1.45 so you can zoom in using this z-axis okay and now over here let's also add in a 3d merge so merge 3d you need to add it after the image plane and for this one we can add in this camera over here camera 3d and connect this to the merge 3d one okay so here you will see that we don't uh, we're not able to see our scene anymore but that is because you need to go over to the transform and once again change the z-axis from here as well okay and now we're going to be using this image plane 3d in order to rotate this so let's go over at zero and create keyframes over here so i've created these keyframes and let me just change the x-axis little bit 
y-axis a little bit. And over here at the end, let's go ahead and change the x-axis again and the y-axis as well. So let's see how this looks. So here you will see we're getting that 3D rotation. It looks like a 3D animation now. And you can always go ahead and adjust these settings according to how you want this to be. All right, so this is interesting. And now let's go back to the timeline. And over here, I have enabled this render cache at smart so that this will render for us. As you can see over here, this is rendering. So when it is blue, uh, this is when you will be able to play it without any lag. So let's see how this looks in our main timeline. So this was it for this video. This is how you can create 3D map animations in DaVinci Resolve. I hope you liked this video. This video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.